Hey, what's going on guys? Tanner coming at you guys with a video that I've wanted to put out for quite some time now. Uh, this this is basically a uh, 2v2 search and destroy game battles match I was playing with Ryan. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the game audio or whatever. Um, it is like a local recording and I was streaming at the time, so I don't know if the quality is going to be too good or too bad or whatever. But uh, the whole point of this commentary was going to be talking about haters and just really negative people. Um... And I just wanted to give my thoughts, you know, of what people think. You know, I always have people in my stream uh, that send me messages or just in the chat. They're just really obnoxious. And um, I just wanted to uh, kind of voice my, my opinion on what I think about it and, uh, you know, just some, some things that have been happening in the past and how I kind of relate to things. So uh, first thing that I did want to say was um, when somebody says, uh, you know, uh, judgment on how you, like, you play, how you look, uh, and just stuff like that. Um, I just got home from school and I was running around trying to find my jacket because it's cold as a bitch in this room right now. And I'm trying to, I'm wearing a sweater and I'm wearing a hoodie right now. And I was running around for a long time, so uh, I might seem a little, little out of breath. But uh, the whole point um, of the the commentary, like I said, I was talking about haters, and I, I did want to just explain, um, like when somebody jumps into my stream and they're they immediately like they see one thing from me and they see one bad play or one bad shot or one uh just you know mistake that i make and um i did uh you know i have made it known and clear on my youtube channel on my streams on my twitter and like anywhere else that you guys follow me or know me on um I, i've made it clear that i am not perfect i am my own person i uh you know i'm 18 i'm still young my, my brain is still developing you know it depends on uh, if, if somebody has grinded the game or uh, if they just kind of jump to conclusions and really just think that uh, they can they can be better than you or uh, they're just cocky and arrogant and I'm just like oh god like I hate cocky and arrogant people I really do not like them um, like I said uh, you know I, I was really really happy of how um, and really proud of myself actually uh, of how many hours and stuff that I have grinded into this game uh, and, you know numerous situations and 1v1s and just uh, the shots of every gun, the shots of, you know, my M8, just, just focusing and concentrating. I've never put so much time into anything before, nothing really in school, nothing about sports or anything like that. Like, I just, I took this game to a whole new level in my head, and personally, um, this game really has been uh, you know, a very personal game for me, and I don't know um, if that, you know, seems, sounds kind of corny or a little nerdy or anything like that, but if you have been following me for quite some time now, I have been playing, um, Call of Duty for a long time. Um, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm a Call of Duty veteran. No, I wouldn't. I would never classify myself as a Call of Duty veteran. Um, my opinion of a, somebody who is a Call of Duty veteran is somebody that you know plays competitive and goes to events uh, consistently, and uh, that has been through events since you know numerous past uh, Call of Duties. So um, that is my opinion of a veteran. I'm not gonna say, oh, just because I've been playing game battles for four years or five years now. Um, and playing, you know, since Call of Duty 4, oh, I'm a Call of Duty veteran. No, not really. Um, I haven't really been to any uh, known lands. I did go to a Black Ops 1 uh, land, kind of sort of at Arcadia, and uh, our team took that, which is really cool. So um, to make goals of yourself and to make, you know, achievements and milestones and just strive to go get it, man, like, it's not going to come to you. You have to go get it, and that's what I feel... Um, it's kind of the motivation that, that, that gives haters somebody that isn't willing to go get something, start hating you for it, and they start judging you on it. Um, I've, I've been, a couple of the, uh, situations and examples here that, I, that I've been, you know, kind of watching on YouTube and stuff, like, no matter what you do, there's going to be haters in your life, whether if it's going to, say, if you are a fitness uh, YouTube channel, Somebody's always going to be correcting you on your weight, on your form, um, just really on proper techniques, you know. And then if you relate to art, if if you're if you're an artist, sorry, I'm kind of stuttering on my words right here. But if you are an artist, um, they can uh, judge about your colors, about your lines, about your textures, about your gradients, so many things about that. And then one person that I have really, uh, you know, has been my idol and really. I've been really fond to uh, learning about uh, his life and really uh, watching him grow as a person would definitely be um, Travis Pastrana. If you guys don't know who that is, definitely go look him up. Um, he he started out uh, being a uh, motocross rider, supercross, whatever you guys want to call it, 
and uh, just watching him progress uh, to to do so many things. You know, he was the first motocross rider to do the double backflip uh, in X Games. I'm not sure. I can't remember which X Games it was. Uh, it was in like 2007 ish, I think. Me six s four or uh, 2003, but uh, one of those years I do remember watching it and. You guys don't understand, you know, how much time he put in the foam pit. You don't know how many hours he spent out of the day practicing and practicing and practicing on form, technique, doing the double backflip. And when he's on that moment, going down the ramp, all of those, all that time and effort and just confidence in him to go do that and just to do it and land it in front of millions of people watching at home. I mean, it's just, it's conquering. You got to conquer haters, man. Um, and you really have to turn them around and use them as motivation. Uh, I love seeing haters because uh, it definitely shows that you're doing something right or you're doing something that they cannot. So to see that really does uh, make me happy and want to play more and it makes me all more uh, motivated to get into Call of Duty Ghost and I cannot wait for that. So uh, hopefully you guys did learn a thing or two and just, you know, if you guys have any opinions about haters or whatever, leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate all you guys watching my videos as always and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. Take care, guys. I love you all. Peace out, guys.